You don't think seven was that bad? I disagree. You wanna have a little debate? You wanna debate it? You wanna debate that shit? You wanna play the flute? I'll debate that shit with you. First of all, here's why it sucks absolute wampa nuts, okay? Episode 7 sucks big, sweaty, hairy wampa testicles. And I'll tell you why. Here's why. Number one, Ray just knows how to do everything in the first movie, okay? That's a problem. When you know how to just mind trick people and you haven't even learned the force yet, that's fucking stupid. Alright? That's really fucking stupid. Right out the gate. Number two. Point number two. It's the exact same motherfucking plot as A New Hope. So you photocopied George Lucas's original movie with bland, cardboard cutout, two-dimensional, shitty characters. Okay? I don't think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty shit. Actually. In fact, I think Episode 7 makes Phantom Menace look like fucking Citizen Kane. Yeah. It's pretty much Goodfellas, alright? It's Casino now. It's basically Gladiator. Uh, let's see. Why else does that movie suck? Oh yeah, Kylo Ren exists in that movie. And he's been trained by Luke for, I don't know, two decades? And he loses to someone who's never held a lightsaber? And you want to tell me that that's a good film? It's pretty good. No. No, it's pretty shit, actually. But go ahead. Give me your rebuttal. I would love to hear it. I'm listening, Fable, and I'm happy you're here. And I appreciate you being here. I think you're a lord, but I would have to respectfully disagree with you. Any thoughts from the peanut gallery? Hmm? Yeah, you can't disagree with it, because it's fucking facts. Those are called fucking facts. I'm happy to help you understand how bad that film is. I'm happy to do that. You're welcome. You are welcome, my apprentice. Yeah, she's a fucking Palpatine. Identity theft is not a joke. All right? Identity theft is not a joke. You don't just say, I'm a Skywalker, and you become one. That's not how this shit works, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna be like, mm, I'm a Johnny Depp. I'm part of the Depp family. Give me millions of dollars. I identify as Johnny. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that if I say that, Johnny Depp's gonna be like, you're fucking creepy. Stay away from my family. That's what he's gonna say. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Anyway, also, you took Anakin's lightsaber and said it's your lightsaber, and then you buried it on, on Tatooine in sand. So you, you buried his lightsaber on a planet where he saw his mother get murdered and enslaved and was a slave himself, and he hates fucking sand, and you put it in the sand. I just, yeah... No. Fuck that shit. And we haven't even gotten to uh, The Last Jedi, also known as the worst film ever written. Now, I have nothing against Ryan Johnson as a filmmaker. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Hey, buddy. I'm Darth Maul. Hi. One of the cool Star Wars characters. You probably don't recognize that because you only write shitty ones. But I've got nothing against you as a filmmaker, actually. I think you have some pretty good cinematography. It's really nice. But uh, stay the fuck away from Star Wars, okay? And next time you direct something that's Star Wars related, which hopefully happens uh, never, how about you let someone else write it? In fact, let Dave Filoni write it, and you can just film it, all right? And you just, you just put that paper down. You keep that pen away from that paper. You sh shut the fuck up, and you just direct it. You don't write it, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, that's how I feel about the sequel trilogy. Anyone else disagree? That's okay if you disagree. Please, disagree. Tell me why you think it's so great. I will now listen to the opposing arguments. Go ahead. And I mean that, Ryan. I don't have anything against you. You're probably a pretty good filmmaker, honestly. But you really, you just stay away from Star Wars, man. Seriously. 
No disrespect. No fucking disrespect. Yoda has force lightning. Oh yes! Thank you, Reaper. Yoda has force lightning. Last I checked, that was a Sith move and super evil. And since when is burning down like ancient monuments like a good thing? So should we? So according to the Last Jedi, it's totally cool to strap some dynamite to fucking Stonehenge and just blow it up. Right? It doesn't matter if it's old, and it's history, and it's important. Nah, you know what? Fuck that shit. Let's just blow it up for fun. Right? 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 And if we're supposed to let the past die, and kill it because it sucks so much, then uh, why did you bring back Emperor Palpatine? Seemed like a kind of desperate play to bring back the past, because you want a little bit of that, uh, cheddar. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Little hypocritical there, buddy. Little fucking hypocritical. Just saying. I'm just saying. Checkmate, bitch. Anyone else want to disagree? Hmm? You did this, Reaper. You're a fucker. You know I had some alcohol, and you're like, I'm gonna get cold to talk about the sequels. Yeah, you did that, Reaper. I know. I see you. Luke doesn't read the books. That really pissed me off. Bruh. Luke didn't even read the books. Yoda even grills him on it. Read them, have you? And then Luke looks around like uncomfortably because he didn't read the books. So you're going to tell me that Luke motherfucking Skywalker was on an island with a bunch of fish nuns by himself for years. And the only source of entertainment was ancient Jedi books from like thousands of years ago. And you're trying to tell me he did not read those. So he, he just jerked off sea cows for years in a row, and that's all he did? Really? Really? Mm. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't fucking think so, buddy. I don't fucking think so, buddy. Fable, do you still like the sequels? What's that? What? Oh, you think they're dog shit now too? <laughs> well, I agree with you, Fable. I agree with you. What a good point you've made. What a good point. <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to the fact that they ride horses on a Star Destroyer, bruh. They rode horses on a Star Destroyer. Mamma mia! What the fuck? Also, Emperor Palpatine fucked someone. Emperor Palpatine... First of all, not only did, not only did he fuck someone, you're trying to tell me that Emperor Palpatine got an erection. <laughs> Bullshit. Have you seen that guy? <laughs> yeah. His blood circulation is not that good. He did not get an erection. <laughs> okay. He didn't fuck shit. Maybe he inseminated it with like a syringe. I could buy that. I could buy that. That's not what fucking happened. So. Check fucking maze. Right? And to close my argument, Rey is not a Skywalker. She will never be a Skywalker. She is canonically a Palpatine. J.J. Abrams wrote that. And hey, J.J., you didn't know who Darth Plagueis was. You know how I know that? Because a fan asked you, and you had no idea who the fuck that was. And here we go. Hi, my name is Jonathan. And what is your question, Jonathan? Is there going to be any mention of Darth Plagueis in Episode 7? Maybe surrounding a certain staff that someone finds? Oh. <laughs> is that... Larry? Larry? <clears throat> uh, I, I don't think I heard correct. Is it Darth Vegas? Like, uh, Las Vegas? <laughs> Darth... Vader? No, he's... Larry's me messing with you. Uh, I, I don't think we, you know, we don't want to be talking about story, uh, too much too soon. But, uh, I will say no. And not only did you not know, but Kasdan, who also wrote that movie, 
wrote that movie, if you want to call that writing, also didn't know. He thought it was Darth Vegas, motherfucker. Uh, spoiler alert, Darth Vegas doesn't exist. That's not a character, actually. Just telling you. Just telling you. Just letting you know. You're almost ready, Cap? Good, because I'm fucking triggered. I'm fucking triggered right now. Fable, I hope I haven't made you uh, unsubscribe or unfollow in the last 10 minutes. I think you're a lord. <laughs> Darth Vegas? Who's Darth Vegas? Oh, we're ready? Okay. Should I start rambling then? Reaper, I know you enjoyed that. You're a fucker, Reaper. You want to subscribe. 